Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and my name is Siri and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will talk about five myths that we all believe in as English learners and, and I'm telling you, bursting these myths are going to be such a relief for all of you because you have been believing in all of these because of which they are affecting your journey of being fluent in English. So, so that you can just continue with your journey with more joy and with more amount of relief. So without any further ado, let's get into the video now let's talk about the first myth which is the most common one that I've heard a lot of times and I have always believed in it when I've started my journey but later on when I've gone through it I have realized that it's a myth that I'm believing in and I should stop believing in it which is if you are from a village you can't speak in English which is completely wrong no matter where you are from this earth you can definitely be fluent in English. It does not matter if you are from a village. It does not matter if you are from a city or whatever it is. Do you think every person who lives in Hyderabad knows how to speak in English? And do you think every person who lives in a village which is nearby Hyderabad cannot speak in English? You know, it does not matter at all. No matter wherever you are from, you can definitely be fluent in English. And what is the point of attaching the place you are from to being fluent in English? See, I've told this a thousand times that you are learning English as a language, right? When you are learning it as a language, the place that you come from, it definitely does not matter. It's just that you are thinking about it. It's just that you are just trying to give that excuse to your mind or just trying to show sympathy on yourself that, okay, I'm from village, so I can't speak in English. You don't believe me when I've started my journey of being fluent in English, I stayed in village only. I was in a village only. So it simply proves that where you are from does not matter to be fluent in English. If you want to be fluent in English, then you can be no matter wherever you are from. And the next common most myth is that you need to know a lot of grammar to be fluent in English. See, I, I've, I know I've told this a number of times, but I'll tell you again that you do not need a lot of grammar to be fluent in English. You, all you got to do is to be perfect in the way you speak, the style you want to speak. And you just have to invest more and more amount of time in consuming the content instead of spending a lot of time learning grammar because you are learning English as a language at the end of the day, right? I don't know why it is not entering into your mind that you are learning English as a language. So there's no need for you to feel bad about yourself that you do not know a lot of grammar. If you ask me, I do not know a lot of grammar. I agree that I completely agree with that. And I admit that. But if you give me a situation, if you put me, if you put me in a situation where I am required to speak in English, I'm pretty confident when I speak. How did I learn all this? Because I spend a lot of time consuming English content. I spend a lot of time reading, writing, listening. So this is how I have built myself in this aspect of being fluent in English. So if you are still believing in this myth, it's the right time for you to stop believing in it right now. Start to focus on more of practical aspects such as reading, writing, listening and speaking so that they are going to be of a great help to you. So it's time for you to stop believing in this myth first. And the third myth is learning English is expensive. Not at all. You don't believe me when I say this. Um, except spending little amount of money on a couple of apps to just find speakers. I did not spend any anything other than that. Not at all. If you truly want to learn, you can learn free of cost. It's completely up to you. Again, I'm telling you, it depends on how strong desire you have to be fluent in English. For example, let's say I want to learn how to cook. Now, if I want to learn how to cook, am I going to go and join a cooking class? 
to just be good at cooking not to master it just to be good at cooking i'm going to ask my mom i'm going to search something online i'm going to take help of few of my relatives who a few of my friends who are good at it and would try and learn from them and would try and take tips from them and that's how i will get good at cooking right the same way you can be fluent in this language just by consuming con content online just by taking few subscriptions on these apps which provide you speakers uh, to speak in english just like cv cv is one such app so you can definitely be fluent in english without, without having to spend a lot of money on being fluent in english and i am a great example for that is what i would like to tell you right from the day i've started my journey i have never spent a lot of money on being fluent in english and and i've never joined a course to be fluent in english i've learned everything by myself searching everything by myself and that is when you are going to learn the best is what i'm telling you so if when you have that ability to research anything that you want to all by yourself you are going to learn a lot and trust me it is true you can learn english with less amount of money you don't have to spend a lot you are with yourself you can learn that this is what i would like to tell you next one is you have to spend the entire day to be fluent in english trust me even if you spend 1 hour a day for the next 2 months i am giving you that guarantee i am giving you that assurance there is going to be an improvement in yourself that you see see in learning english as a language is just a very small aspect of our life it's not the only thing we are learning in our life there are a lot of other things that we are trying to improve ourselves in so even if you spend 30 minutes to 40 minutes to 2 hours a day just for english for the next 2 months continuously with discipline you can be fluent in english so that is what i'm trying to tell you i mean not within a span of 2 months but there is going to be a sense of discipline that will be built inside you when you be regular when you be consistent so when you keep doing it over the period of time you can see an improvement in yourself which will eventually make you fluent in english so if you are assuming that i have to spend the entire day to be fluent in english then you are definitely wrong you don't have to spend the entire day to be fluent in english you can just spend the time you want to just to ensure that you are involving yourself into learning this language every single day you just should not lose that touch that's the only thing you have to focus on even if you're spending 30 minutes 1 hour 2 hours every day that's completely fine that is enough all you got to make sure is to do that every single day without having to forget that habit is what i'm trying to tell you so if you are assuming that i have to spend a lot of time the entire day to be fluent in english then that is definitely a myth that you are believing in which you need to stop believing in it right now so this is wrong don't believe in that next and the last one which is the most famous one i have heard this a lot of times uh, i receive this over my dms i receive this over my mails a lot of times i receive this which is siri how can i be fluent in english within a span of one month which is a myth that you are believing in being fluent in english within a span of one month is not possible at least for me that is what i would like to suggest my subscribers as well that you cannot be fluent in english within one month and i'm telling it straight away to you i am not even giving you any kind of hopes that okay if you work hard for one month you can be fluent in english not at all it will take time what do you think this is a subject no this is a language that you are learning languages take time to learn if you assume that learning english within a span of one month is possible then you should be able to learn telugu in one month you should be able to learn tamil you should be you should be able to learn kannada and every other language in one month in that case you should be able to learn 12 languages a year do you think that's possible practically not possible so what i would like to tell you is that give that time it is a myth that you are believing in that being fluent in english in one month is possible it's definitely not possible it's you who is believing in that so you should stop believing in that and give enough amount of time for yourself and for the language adopt yourself to it give that time be slow there's nothing wrong why do you have to rush it's okay it's taking one year give that time so there's no point of believing in this myth at all so i would recommend that please do not rush it's okay if it's taking one year it's okay if it's taking two years all you got to do is to enjoy the process you have to focus on the process not the result because when you focus on the process the right result is going to come in front of you no matter what 
so yeah these are all the five most common myths that i've heard from a lot of english learners and i used to believe them a lot when i started my journey but eventually i've realized that they are wrong but i just thought of clarifying this with all of you so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you guys in my next video till then you take care i will see you soon bye